first thing that we did for the record. So it's, it was quite pivotal in that I had nothing and was like, like not writer's block, but just like the confidence had gone. So you're looking for that initial starting point. I went over to Liverpool to see a guy called Rich Turvey. Rich is great. He works, uh, he's worked on Coral Records. He works with Jay Skelly a lot. I think I ended up doing like six days with him and we did, we did quite a few songs. It was like three, four, five tunes, like at least the bones of them. And I'd given up boozing for the first time, really. I say for the first time, like, not like a fully blown alcoholic, but I'd never given up booze, especially not knowingly. Like, oh, I'm going to give it up for a couple of weeks kind of thing. And I was pretty astounded by getting, like, bits of my brain back <laughs> that started working, got the cogs in motion. And it felt, like, really liberating to write with a completely clear head. People use that kind of crutch of, oh, yeah, I've got to be high to write, or I've got to be pissed to write a lyric. And you kind of, I don't know if I was subscribing to that subconsciously, or if it's just a bit of a myth that continues to roll on in rock and roll. But it's definitely bullshit, so, and I found that out pretty quickly. We wrote it in a, we did it in a day. Like the, the, the chords, I did the kind of, the little, I was listening to, listening to a lot of R.E.M. So, hence why well, it sounds like I've ripped off R.E.M. I have. Yeah, we had the chords done before lunch. Lyrics, honestly, like that, 15 minutes. Very, very easy. No direction, no Videos are either great or awful, I find. The, the process of being involved with them anyway. I got a lot of time for video directors because their job is hellish at times. We have a guy that we use called Joe Connor who's a bit of a genius. So a lot of the time I'll just say, do what you want to do. Do you know what I mean? Because I trust him, we've worked with each other since Lose Control, so a long time now. We said, well, why don't we ask Emma to write a short story based on the three singles, which we knew were going to be Jacket, Better Man and Cloud. I've never done that before either, but we are playing them live, and I thought, let's just box them off. So she, yeah, she gave us these like, three chapters, and they were amazing. And, but then I said to Joe, will you base the videos on the story rather than the songs. So it's kind of nice, you had this kind of triangulation, which was, it was a loose thread, but it was never like, I'm not into videos where they follow the song directly, do you know what I mean? So it was kind of cool, to be honest with you, it was just really exciting to be involved with that many creative people, and not have to really break a sweat, but be involved with very talented people. It made me feel like, um, we weren't an unsigned band anymore, which is nice after six records. I felt like we'd arrived, do you know what I mean? It was nice to be involved with them. 